Hi, I'm Nezvers and I do stuff. I want to show you how to create my favorite utility. A class that will load resources or even create instance uh, on a parallel thread. Taking off burden of main thread that's uh, moving all your game. So let's create new script. I like the empty and that doesn't matter. I call this one uh, resource async loader you can call it <laughs> whatever you want uh, we are not extending any existing class it's basically our own class class name resource uh, async loader it's good practice to call uh, your cla new class the same way you call your file name so it's easier to find oh. Uh, well, okay. we need uh, a signal uh, that's going to be used only by this class uh, when it's done loading hence we are calling it done you can call it whatever you want we need thread new instance of the thread Ooh, sig signal to be sure that uh, platform we are using can operate with uh, Multi threads. I'm creating a boolean can async, and I included uh, those platforms I know that support multi threading. Quirky way how to ask if uh, your actual platform you're using this game OS get name. Ask this array does it has the platform name. This is Windows, Mac, uh, Windows thingy. I don't know universal something and this is Linux let's write our main function for now please ignore this one um, well wherever you need you can create a new instance of this class and ask it to load your resources you give a uh, um, copy path of your resources you can create your list and get copy path and it's stringed so you can give some resources that you need to load in and pass ask uh, instance of resource async loader to load start give uh, your list of resources it will load in and spit it out but because of uh, multi-threading it's working asynchronically so we need to do some smart uh, workarounds first of all we create a new variable that will hold that array passed in resource list and we create duplicate of it because arrays are referenced that means if you change uh, something inside of array it will be changed in all variables that is referencing same array next we create a new variable that's basically empty array we will append all our loaded resources or instances in this and pass it back this is our boolean we created previously for checking if this platform is supporting multi-threading let's start with the case where it's not multi-threading so we are using creating this method regular loading we, we call our method regular load and we give our new created uh, duplicate of resource list pass in and it's basically new array where we load in so for all resources in resources in we append it's loaded uh, whatever it is uh, scene textures or sounds Nani the fuck? we load we load each of them append that to resource out array and return it so it goes back so it goes from here into out oh and that's all we need and we returning our load start in case if it supports asynchron we need to start thread and for that we need our thread function again we can async uh, load so multi-threading is supported 
we ask our thread to start a method. Be method is on self instance. Name of the function or method is thread load. We can uh, give argument of our resources list. It's passed in. So thread knows what uh, resources to work on. Also threaded function creates new array that it will work on. Same as regular load, we go through resources in array that was passed in. For each resource, we load it and append it to the array that we will return. But because threaded methods happen asynchronically, we need a way to pass back to main thread. So to get our data back to main thread, we call the third. That means method is called on idle frame and done by main thread. That means all our data is safely passed back to main thread, but we do that through signaling. We need to call method emit signal, done. The one we created at the beginning. Along with that signal, we pass our created uh, output array where all loaded resources are put. If you know you're loading uh, packed scenes, that means you can do like uh, ins create new instance, load those resources and create instance or do it for room loading that's what I'm doing in my game template for now we just load the resource in signal, signal is uh, emitted and continuing on this method our out array is waiting for value that's uh, returned by yield which is waiting on signal our met method went through when it started threaded method hit this yield and post this method by waiting on itself and waiting for signal done and because we are passing loaded resources array along with the uh, signal by emitting it yield also returns the this resource out straight into our out array so i found a, a little error if someone didn't notice we need to finish our thread and when it did its method it did uh, the last row didn't release the thread and here we say that uh, we need thread to finish so let's wait for it when it finished it uh, returned our finished product of array let's create other nodes right right and we use our icon save the scene pride.tscm we don't need it anymore and we create a little code here this is more like a, a use case example here we we already got left mouse button for now let's pass we will create our loader our loader and let's copy our scene of sprite we created here and we need to ask our loader through yield because uh, start load method itself is yielding and we need to wait when it's completed so we give it a list we wait signal from Ted. let's work with this if you remember we are giving array and it's returning array so that means our resource is array for inst going to be sprite resource and because this load start uh, received array of resources and gave out loaded resources so this is array and because of that uh, we need the very first in this situation and we need to instantiate it our uh, inst global position is let's hold our fingers Wherever I click, I create new. We can change it a bit. Let's uh, already create instance of it here on regular load and same for th threaded. So we don't need to instantiate. Um, creating instance also takes some uh, CPU power. 
and if we can do something about it we can do something about it and because that's an array we we call the first one or you can ask it out. and let's check it this is pretty simple example but uh, you can think bigger things like room loading takes much more cpu power to create and to create instance than uh, this simple sprite i hope you can think more use cases and maybe if you know something i did wrong please let me know because i want to know i hope you like this video and see you next time